Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY watermelon phone case. For this one, the first thing we need is a plastic phone case, some white acrylic paint, and a brush. And I'm just going to show you where we're going to be painting. We're not going to be painting the whole thing. We're just going to be marking the base for where the um, like cutted watermelon is going to be. So it's going to be like this part. Yeah, I'm just going to be applying my white acrylic paint on all of that place. The reason I'm applying white in just this part is because I want my red, which is going to be on top, to really pop for this part. And then I'm just going to let this dry and this is how I do it. Then I'm going to be taking some green acrylic paint and I'm just going to go and, you know, mix it with some white acrylic paint. I'm just going to mix those two and just make a lighter uh, shade of green and I'm just going to mix them with a brush with a tiny brush once I have done that I'm just going to take a smaller brush and I'm just going to add some um, lines like thinner lines going from the top part of the white uh, bit that I just um, painted towards the top part of the phone case and I'm just going to well paint them in kind of an angle to just simulate the watermelon as it is from the outside and I'm just going to mark those lines in there and then I'm just going to make them thicker, a bit thicker, just to uh, make the illusion. You know how watermelons are not like the same shade of green outside? And that's what I'm trying to do here. Once I have done that, I'm just going to go in the middle part in between those lines. And I'm just going to paint them with the green. And this time it's just going to be like the plain uh, green color. I'm not adding any white at this point. And I'm just going to finish the whole thing by painting between the lines and all around my phone. Just where I need to be uh, green. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go with my green. And I'm just going to go and kind of like drag the green one uh, over the lines, the lighter green lines. Just make sure you kind of like remove all the excess of paint, of green paint because otherwise if you actually add paint to your brush um, you're just going to end up you know painting over those lines that we just to make it um, you know blend a bit more just like that if that makes any sense I hope it does then I'm going to be taking some red acrylic paint and as I mentioned before I'm just going to be painting on top of my white first I'm going to be marking the outline and on the bottom part I'm not going to go all the way down because you know how watermelons when you cut them the edges are like white so I'm just going to go for that look but I'm just going to paint the rest of the watermelon just like so and I'm painting actually the edges as well then I'm going to be taking some barbecue sticks, well just one, and I'm just going to take some black acrylic paint now and I'm just going to first add some dots uh, on the bottom there. You can use the back of a brush as well to do this. And then I'm just using like the small part of the barbecue stick to just add some like tiny dots and I'm just going to pretty much connect the bigger dot to the tiny dot just to make the shape of the seeds. These are supposed to be like the seeds and yeah, I'm just going to complete the whole thing by doing that. Then I'm going to go and add more of those seeds on the top in there, three more, and then one more right on the top in there. It's pretty easy. Then I'm going to take a Sharpie, and because I want my uh, what I'm to have like this cute like face, I'm just going to add two dots with my paint, and then I'm just going to mark a bit of a smile in there with my Sharpie as well, and I'm just going to paint it with my barbecue stick. Again, you can use a thin brush, but I didn't have any at the moment, and I was already working with this one, and it's quite handy. Then I'm just going to add some cheeks. For that, I'm going to be adding two dots first to mark where I want it, and I'm just going to paint those with pink acrylic paint. And then I kind of forgot that I was supposed to add some green on the bottom of my watermelon. Don't know why, I just completely forgot and that's why I'm adding this green edge right now at the end and yeah I'm just going to go all the way down that white line finally I'm going to protect my design I'm going to use some glossy transparent spray finish to just protect my design and I buy it at Home Depot I've gotten a lot of questions about why do I use this and what happens if I don't do this this is going to help my design to last longer because I am always on my phone I'm always using it yeah, if I don't 
protect the sign is going to peel off quicker plus it's going to make this design look a bit better a bit more like if you bought the phone case rather than if you just painted it and yeah I just wanted to share this sign I'm obsessed actually with watermelons both how they taste and how they look I think design wise they look pretty cute in everything and I just want to add a, a cute face to it because um, why not so if you like this design don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff I actually do have a DIY phone case playlist on my channel I do have a lot of them and I do one every single month so if you want to keep up with this ones don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share it if you liked it I hope you did I'll talk to you later thank you so much for watching take care bye guys